That's right. We back, baby. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! You know what else, though? We are Venom. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, the random recorder here and it feels good to say that that's right uploads are coming back and as you may have guessed already today I'm gonna be doing a movie review on Venom so I'm gonna keep this one short because there's not a lot to say about this movie uh, let's start it is bad. not objectively not not subjectively it is a badly made movie. The, the villain is off. Any character that isn't Eddie Brock or Venom in this movie is off. Uh, the villain is just bad. Like, a lot of the times, villains will be motivated by things like family, and that's mainly because they want to be relatable. I mean, you know, it's natural that you would want to protect your family, so you might kill someone or do something to impress, protect, something like that. Or your family. This, this guy is just there. Okay, like, he's annoying. That's, that's really about it. And I, especially coming off of, like, I think that Riz Ahmed is a good actor, and I think that he does. I think that was something that... <sighs> Sorry, I think that's something that every character struggles with, with in this movie, is that they're all good actors, they just were not handed a good script, like, at all. It is... It's bad. Uh... The pacing feels off. There's certain parts where it just jumps too fast and it kind of slows parts down. And there's a major plot detail that's kind of just there for like 15 seconds and then it's over all of a sudden. Uh, there's one major thing that happens at the end of the movie that makes you really, you know, it's strange because it's like, well, you know, they've already announced plans for more, so what's gonna happen from here? And then five minutes later, with no explanation, no reason, no nothing, it's back to where it was. It's all normal now. And I think it's less that the plot is incoherent and more that it's, it's less about the big details than it is about the little details. Things like characters just not being relatably written. Things like, which, yeah, I will say that one is a bit bigger, but pacing issues. There's just certain parts that I feel like are missing here that could be filled in but aren't for whatever reason. The music is subpar I th they 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 have this theme in the trailer this really nice it's like it not I don't want to say edgy but it, 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 it like for spooktober you already know for nightmares it gets you in that mood like it's spooky bro but then like they don't use it a single time like ever in the movie not even for like the closing credits speaking of which if you haven't seen it by the way there are two end credit scenes one of them is okay because <laughs> there's a part of it that's absolutely hilarious, like the last line in the movie especially. And then there is another one, which is actually a sneak peek to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Man. I don't know if that makes them related, uh, the Sony Cinematic Universe. I know the PS4 scene has been spotted, so especially when you're doing it something that's multiversally wide. Is that any word? Did I say that any word? I don't know. But uh, when you're doing it something multiversally wide, I guess, that means Spider-Man PS4 is canon to that movie. I don't care, I don't know. But back to the review. Yeah, basically, every uh, most of the things about this movie are just bad. Like, straight up. But, it's amazing. It is bad. Like, this is top three movies of the year for me. Like, it would go Black Panther, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, yes, I know, deal with it, and Venom. Which, by the way, means that it outranks Infinity War. Are you out of your mind? Oh my god! The worst part, the weird part, is that I can't explain it. And part of it comes from ironic goodness. There are some parts where it's just so funny that it's so bad that it's funny. That, that comes with a movie that has like a 30, that, that comes with movies like the Emoji Movie, where you're looking at low Rotten Tomatoes, lower critic scores. 
and everything like that. But I said every character that wasn't Eddie Brock or Venom was horrible in this movie. And that is because Eddie Brock and Venom is the greatest buddy cop comedy movie of all time. I'm, I'm serious. Like, it's actually, it's amazing. It is hilarious. It is engaging. I mean, yes, and again, I did mention some of the plot details, and that does kind of mess it up. But for the most part, it is, it's great. Uh, Venom, for the most part, like, all of the time is written hilariously. It is great. Uh, if y'all, there are some jokes that he makes in the trailers that I think flew under a couple of people, but that are absolutely amazing. There is certain fight scenes that involve both Eddie and Venom. And by the way, if y'all remember the trailer breakdown, I said, it's gonna be a lot of Venom. That's actually not true. There is a good amount of Venom in this movie, I would say. Considering he's like the title character, I would genuinely say there's a good, a good amount of him being in this movie overall. And then... The, the fight scenes that include not just Venom, because those are amazing too. There's particularly one where, um, it's kind of like a Batman scene, but it's Venom, and I think it works actually really well. But there's another one. Uh, it's the motorcycle chasing. It happens in conjunction. If y'all saw the trailer, y'all know how he gets the symbiote and then he has the little tendril mm, uh, come out of his arm. It's, it's habitual. It's a serious problem. I need to fix it. I have crippling depression. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, um, no, right, he has, like, the tendrils come out of his arm and he gets the guy's um, chasing that is one continuous scene. But anyway, so he starts that. It works to great effect. It makes this one of the most enjoyable movies we've had this year so far, possibly uh, in the history of superhero movies. Yes, all like 21 of them. I know there's not a lot, okay, but still. Are you out of your mind? Oh my god! And, and yeah, I think that if you're a fan of comedy, I, I, I mean, I'm talking comedy like if y'all have seen a Marvel movie, you know how there's jokes sprinkled in? It's mostly a darker movie, not dark, but you get the idea. And then there's like jokes sprinkled in. It's like that, except the jokes here are like actually funny. You know, Marvel jokes are like funny, but these ones are actually funny. It's great. Um, if you're a fan of good action scenes, I think most, if not all of the fights here are good. The Venom Riot fight towards the end of the movie is amazing. Yeah, if you're not, if you're a person that's gonna pay more attention to a smaller detail story, I don't think it's for you. But overall, I I think that most people, if you're looking for a good thing to do, you're you don't have anything to do on the weekend, but you better be doing all that homework. I know you ain't gonna be in that class. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Stanley. Yeah. Uh, no, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's a good movie. I would recommend it to anyone looking for a good time, that's all. And I'm happy to be back, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to keep uploading. Just a quick segment before I end the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna keep trying to upload. I know I was gone for a while. I have a couple of videos planned out for you guys. A couple of more movie reviews, a couple of tech videos. Uh, especially, I'm trying to make up for it because I'll actually be out in November and I won't be able to record videos, but I should be fine around December to January. So uh, yeah, I hope to be able to keep recording videos. So if you guys see Venom, you guys had anything to say about it, please let me know in the comment section below. No spoilers though, please make sure you're not. But with that, I guess. Uh, happy October, happy October, happy Halloween, happy Fortnite, happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Thanksgiving, whatever you're watching this. Boy, thank you to everyone that's registering me as a supporter creator in the Fortnite store. You can see all my other Fortnite videos right now in the playlist down below. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.